Hi everyone, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer, and today I'm here with Rhino Shield's new Grip Mini and Grip Max. So these are really cool products. They're a combination of grip and stand. You can put them in portrait, you can put them in landscape, and then they fold flat when not in use. Really cool product, very customizable. You can choose from Rhino Shield's huge graphics library or go with custom text on here or even have something plain if you want to do that. And the adhesive on here is easily repositionable. So you can put it in the middle like this, put it at the bottom, just move it around however you want. And if you go with a larger grip max size, you can opt for a MagSafe version. So we got really strong magnets in here. They work extremely well. You can use them with one of Rhino Shield's new MagSafe cases or with other MagSafe cases as well. They work really well. They're extremely secure and just an outstanding product. Lost to love here. Let's take a closer look. So Rhino Shield has three different types of grips. You've got two different kinds of the Grip Max. One is MagSafe, one attaches with an adhesive, and then you've got one type of Grip Mini. The Grip Mini only comes in an adhesive form. There is no MagSafe Grip Mini. So all of these are nice, none of them are perfect, but my favorite is definitely going to be your MagSafe Grip Max. So let's look at that one first. So the MagSafe Grip Max has an exceptionally strong magnet, particularly when it is paired with one of Rhino Shield's new MagSafe cases. So it took Rhino Shield a long time to come up with some MagSafe cases, but now that they have, these are really excellent, super strong magnets. You really don't need to worry that this is going to fall off your phone. So you've got a great grip, it's going to be a great stand, all of that is excellent. So checking this out on my iPhone 13 Pro in a Rhino Shield MagSafe clear case and a really cool Keith Herring print, really nice case. So excellent magnetic adhesion, super tight. So you're going to be able to use this in portrait mode as a very nice stand, very secure. Same is true with landscape mode. And of course, you're going to be able to use this as a grip as well. But there is one drawback. So if you're going to be using this while you're using the camera, the rear camera, this will unfortunately block the camera if you are using the wide and ultra wide lenses. If you're using the telephoto lens, you're okay, but the wide and ultra wide are going to be slightly blocked if you're using this as a grip. So there is that, but of course, this is MagSafe, so you can easily remove it. So that is nice. And of course, you're going to be able to use this case with MagSafe charging and regular wireless charging because the grip is removable. The MagSafe Grip Max is also going to work well with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So I've got my 13 Pro Max here in a Mod NX case that's got MagSafe, really nice case. So you've got an excellent magnetic adhesion here, as you can tell, really tight. So this is a nice secure grip. It's also going to work well as a stand in landscape mode, but in portrait mode with this larger phone, it does not work just because of the position of the stand. So your MagSafe Grip Max is limited in its positioning. It's only going to be able to be positioned where your MagSafe magnets are, and it's simply too high. So if you compare this, for example, with one of the adhesive grip maxes. So this one you can position anywhere you want. And right now, as you can see, this one's all the way down to the bottom, as opposed to much higher up over here with the MagSafe grip max. So when you use the adhesive grip max, you can see that your stand is going to be perfectly fine. But with the MagSafe one, too high and it's going to fall over. So unfortunately, that does not work very well. But other than that, everything works really quite well with it, with the small caveat that one of your lenses is not going to work well here for photography. This is going to block your ultra-wide lens. So your regular lens and your telephoto lens are going to be fine. The ultra-wide lens is going to be slightly blocked, although if you angle this just a bit, you can keep it out of the way when using it as a grip. So your camera lens situation is a bit better when you're using the MagSafe Grip Max on the 13 Pro Max size. However, your stand situation is not quite as good because you're not able to use this in portrait mode. As far as wireless charging, this is easily removable, so you're going to be able to use this with wireless charging and MagSafe charging, so that is all excellent. 
overall really quite a nice accessory. So the Adhesive Grip Max and the MagSafe Grip Max are the same size and they have the same operation. They just have a different method of being attached. So your MagSafe Grip Max is going to use magnets. The Adhesive Grip Max uses a reusable adhesive pad on the back. So this should be able to be applied and removed something like a hundred times, maybe more. If it gets dirty and stops losing its stickiness, you can rinse it in plain water and then it will become sticky again. Overall, nicely designed, very easy to use. It's easy to attach and detach and it seems to have a very secure fit on all of the cases that I've used it on. Of course, it's not going to stick to every surface. It needs to be a hard, smooth surface, can't be a silicone, can't be a fabric, etc. So attaching this on is really easy. All you need to do is just stick it on and you are good to go. And unlike your MagSafe Grip Max, you can attach it anywhere on the back of the case. You're not limited to just one spot. So attaching it onto my Rhino Shield solid suit here. This works great as a portrait stand, works great as a landscape stand, and it's going to work just fine as a grip. Got a nice secure hold. Everything is great there. The only thing which is not great about this is its wireless charging compatibility. So Rhinoshield says that these may work with wireless charging, but if they don't, then you can take them off. Well, I've tried this with my wireless chargers, and they have not worked with any of my wireless chargers. So there may be some wireless chargers that these work with, but not in my experience. Now, it's not hard to take them off. Again, you just peel it back. You take them off and then you can put it back on after you're done charging. But personally, I think that's kind of a pain and that's why I do prefer to use the MagSafe version because that is much nicer. Plus, I just really like magnets. So I would say that that is your big downside. But other than that, really nice product. And looking at the Adhesive Grip Max on my 13 Pro, you can see it certainly takes up a lot more space on the back of the phone. But other than that, Everything is great, really nice product, so works really well as a grip, works great as a landscape stand, works great as a portrait stand, and because you're able to position it lower because you're not constrained by MagSafe, you can position it so that you don't have any interference with the camera. So that works great. So no problem with any of the three lenses. As long as you have it down this low, you're going to be in good shape. Overall, really nice product. The only problem that I have, again, is that this is not going to be compatible with wireless charging or MagSafe charging when it's attached, at least in my experience. So for me and my wireless chargers, I have to remove this every time. But again, not hard to remove and reattach. Moving on to the Grip Mini, which is only available in an adhesive version. There's no MagSafe version available for this one. This is really an excellent little grip. So it's small, it's cute. I think that it does a great job as a grip, does an excellent job as a stand. So depending on where it's positioned, you can use it only as a landscape or as a landscape and a portrait mode stand. So right now in the middle there, you're kind of limited to only landscape. But if you put this down at the bottom in a different orientation, then you can also use this as a landscape and portrait stand. So just stick it on there. You can see, got a great portrait stand. Got an excellent landscape stand. Actually got a decent grip. I guess you have to put your fingers that way. A little bit awkward. I think it's better in the middle, but still works okay there. And the biggest advantage to having it here at the bottom is that you can still use MagSafe charging with this. So with my wireless chargers that I have around the house, none of them work when I have this positioned anywhere on the back. Even though it's quite small, it's big enough that it lifts this up and doesn't allow for regular wireless charging. But MagSafe charging, because the MagSafe charger is smaller, there is enough space to put your charger there in the middle if you've got your grip mini at the bottom. So that actually works just fine. So again, that's definitely a pro as far as the grip mini is concerned. 
The Grip Mini is also small enough so that it's not going to be in the way of your camera lenses unless you happen to put it super close up there and I don't know why you would. Overall, really nice. This is cheaper, it's smaller, it's lighter. The only thing that it's not is MagSafe, and I really wish it was MagSafe, but I think the reason it's not MagSafe is that it's too small to have strong enough magnets for it to be used as a really good grip. You could probably use it as a stand, but maybe not a grip. And you know the way Rhino Shield is, when they build stuff, they want it to be super tough and to work in all possible configurations. So I think that that's the reason why they haven't made a MagSafe Grip Mini. Checking this out in another one of the Grip Mini versions here with one of the Rhino Shield clear cases. Got a really cute print on here. This is one of Rhino Shield's collaboration prints. When you look closely, you can see it's actually cats here on the wave, not just waves. Very nice look. Again, it's an excellent stand. It's an excellent grip. It's just a really cool addition to the phone case. And then looking at the Grip Mini on my 13 Pro Max here in a Rhino Shield solid suitcase. I think everything looks great. We've got a nice collaboration print here from PewDiePie. Really cool look. So this obviously takes up less space on a 13 Pro Max than on the 13 Pro. You're going to be able to use this as a nice stable stand in portrait, in landscape, and then this is also going to be a good grip as well. Always helpful when you have such a big phone. You can position this wherever you want on here. As long as you don't have it too close up here to the camera, you're not going to have any issue with it blocking the camera. So that is great. And as long as you have it positioned somewhere like this, you're also going to be able to use this with your MagSafe charger although regular wireless chargers are probably not going to work with it because they don't have enough space. So overall, I'm a big fan of Rhino Shield's new grips. I think that they add a lot of functionality to your phone. I love the fact that they're made of 85% recycled material. I think that that's a great direction that Rhino Shield is going in. And I love the fact that they're so customizable with Rhino Shield's huge graphics library, as well as custom text and image uploads. You can really make this product your own. Personally, my favorite is going to be the Rhino Shield MagSafe Grip Max. I love the fact that it's so easy to remove this when you don't want it on there and then putting it back is so easy and fun makes that nice satisfying noise overall just a really great product from Rhino Shield definitely something to consider if you are looking for a combination grip and stand for your iPhone again we've been looking at Rhino Shield's new grip mini and grip max these are available directly from Rhino Shield and are priced starting at $9.99 for the grip mini base model increasing to $12.99 for the grip mini standard prints and $14.99 for grip mini premium collaboration prints for the grip max adhesive version prices start at $17.99 for the base model and increase to $19.99 for standard prints and $21.99 for premium prints Finally, the MagSafe Grip Max is $24.99 for the plain base model, $26.99 for standard print designs, and $28.99 for premium collaboration prints, although you can get a discounted price on the MagSafe Grip Max if you purchase it together with a MagSafe case. If you're interested in these products, you can save 10% on your purchase by using the affiliate coupon code, especially for my viewers, the Tech Reviewer 88 Many thanks to the kind folks at Rhino Shield for sending me out these samples to review. If you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments section below, and do consider hitting that subscribe button because I've got a lot more tech accessory reviews coming up. Again, this is Kristen with The Tech Reviewer. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.